ഹായ് കാമ്രേഡ്സ് യുവേഴ്സ് കെ വി എസ് ഇൻ ദ റീസെൻറ്റ് പാസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് മെനി ഇൻഫർമേഷൻസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഇറഗുലർ ആഡിറ്റ് അബ്ജെക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഫിക്സേഷൻ ഓഫ് പേ after the refixation of pay at the time of completion of the minor penalty of reduction of pay a very serious issue in tamil nadu circle alone it has been noticed that is it has been brought to my notice more than 5 cases in the last 2 years and there are many such cases which are unnoticed or even the pensioner they do not know how they lost all these benefits and everything because there is no chance for the cross checking unless they are aware of this ruling actually what is the case actually the penalty of reduction of pay is a minor punishment minor penalty for minor penalty there should not be any erosion of pay after the restoration of punishment if it is mentioned without cumulative effect naturally all the punishment will be concluded within the period stipulated in the punishment order most of the objections are issued based on the DOPT OM dated 62-2024 which was issued by the DOPT after the 6th pay commission because in the said OM they did not give any illustration on rule 16 cases about reduction of pay. The DOPT has given illustration for all the punishments and other, that is a pay fixation after the punishment. by its order dated 6 2024 in which they did not furnish any illustration about the rule 16 case that is a minor penalty case about reduction of pay the dopt subsequently by its order dated 18 6 2019 had rectified the mistake in its um, in its earlier order 6 2014 and added the illustration for the minor penalty cases under the rule 16 punishment which was only a omission in 2014 that has been corrected during 2019 but whereas this has not been considered and in most of the cases even the cases who are going to retire nowadays the audit is making a objection for the minor penalty punishments after the restoration they are making it as a major penalty and the reduction is having a permanent say that it has not been brought back to the pay fixation as per the DOPT clarification on 6 2014 which was not having any illustration about the minor penalties the 6 2014 order became absolute due to the amendments given by the DOPT in the subsequent order dated 18 6 in which a very clear cut instruction for minor penalty of reduction of pay has been given but this has not been taken moreover according to fr 291 if the pay of the government servant is reduced as a measure of penalty to a lower stage in his time scale the authority ordering such reduction shall state in the proceedings orders about the period for which it shall be effective and whether on restoration the period of reduction shall operate in postponing the future increment and be so to what extent further in accordance with the ministry of finance om dated 17 8 and also the 9th june 1960 under para b the question as to what should be the pay of the government servant and the expiry of the period of reduction shall be decided it is stated as follows if the original order of reduction laid down that the period of reduction shall not operate to postpone future increments or is silent on this point the government servant should be allowed the pay which he would have drawn in normal course but for reduction in most of the memos issued by the disciplinary authority they are specifically mentioned that the reduction will not have the effect of postponing the future increments of poor future increments of pay the audit in most of the verification memo by citing the om dated 62 2024 by citing the example of 2a of the om the example cited is contrary to the statutory rules of fr 291 
no one is having the right either to violate disobey or misinterpret the statutory rules by citing the instructions the dopt understanding the wrong issue of the illustration in the memo cited dated 6 2014 which has not made illustration separately for both the reductions with cumulative effects and without cumulative effects separately and made for both in the cases in the said memo as with cumulative effect in order to rectify the errors the said memo has now released on 186-2019 in which under example 6 that is reduction to a lower stage without cumulative effect penalty under rule 116 and the same is applied the objection raised by the audit will be proved as wrong however the irregular fixation of pay after the end of punishment was many in tamil nadu circle because i this has been brought to my notice only from the tamil nadu circle i don't know what is prevailing in the other circle but i am confident it will be prevailing almost in all the circles there will be no exemption these audit people have unnecessarily raised objections and reduced the pay of the officials suppose if they have been granted with one year minor penalty if the increment falls during that period they will be forfeited with the two increments in many cases this has been brought to my notice and thereafter this has been taken up through the chief postmaster general by the tamil nadu postal circle union for which the dopt has given the clarification why it is no dated 24 5 that the minor penalty should not may impact in the pension and regulate the pay fixation as per the illustration as per the 18 6 orders now the dopt has clarified only to the tamil nadu circle postal tamil nadu circle postal on 24 5 2024 which has not been circulated to other circle but this is prevailing in almost all the circles this is my clear opinion so whoever had been awarded minor penalty proceedings between 2014 to 2019 whatever be the punishment particularly the punishment of reduction of pay they were in loss their service book has to be checked whether the pay fixation after the restoration of punishment has been properly made this has to be verified if not by citing the dg post letter dated 28 5 2024 issue to the tamil nadu circle and you can rectify the mistake this is a very glaring mistake very exploitative order issued in 2014 which has been separated by the dopt by its clarification issued to postal department on 28 4 kindly go through this order which i have already exhibited in the government orders in my website uskvs.blogspot.com under the government orders and subfolder 91 disciplinary rules kindly go through this with this i am concluding thank you very much comrade meet again